Hey guys, welcome back to Clover Nose Pets. I'm Clover and I have a huge announcement to make. Um, one of our rescue hermit crabs finally changed shells. Alright, so this is the shell he or she used to be in. Let's see if I can get a better view for you. Uh, sorry for the videoing for this. Um, I don't have my normal camera. I'm actually just using a, uh, a computer or Chromebook. Oh, that scared you. Um, but so this shell actually used to be painted bright red, or with bright red nail polish and, um, purple, either hot glue or glitter glue. Um, and so what happened to the shell is I actually was able to easily peel off all of it because a piece had chipped, so I tried to peel it off and all of it came off, so that was very lucky. Um, but so yeah, he used to be, or she used to be in this big shell, um, and she's actually way smaller than the shell, uh, but so we've had her for a few months, and she finally regrew her legs also, and was able to get out of both the salt and fresh water five gallon dishes, um, in the big 75 gallon tank, which is the four foot bioactive setup for hermit crabs. Um, but she was able to get out of both of those bowls, which means she got to move in. The hermit crab I'm talking about is Midnight. This is Midnight, and obviously I wouldn't recommend holding or handling your hermit crabs very often. Um, but I felt it was okay for a single video. I don't want him to fall. And he still is missing one leg partially. Um, but there is a nub starting to grow, and he, so he's missing one leg on that side. And then what you see him using to walk with is his claws, um, which isn't usual, but he also grew some, or, or when he molted, he also, um, so he regrew the two legs on, uh, let me get this. He regrew the two legs on this side and lost a leg on this side, but he is able to get out of both of the bowls so he can move into the big tank. Um, also, or I keep saying he, I'm sorry, it's a girl, female, um, but she also has gotten some really nice bright colors, um, again, everything on this camera looks very pale, um, but I have been able to get, um, her to get some better colors after molt, which means he's now eating better diet. Um, and so his colors have become way more purple, like a normal purple pincher hermit crab. Um, and yeah, so he is way tinier than we thought he was. Um, cause when he was in this big shell, um, normally hermit crabs, when they're in shells, let me set him back on the pear he was snacking on. He was eating a pear. There we go. Um, so normally a hermit crab in his shell this size, um, when fully hidden and stuff, would be around here, um, completely, um, tightened in, um, which is properly sized, but he was way small for his shell, so he was around this line here, um, in his shell, and so you couldn't even see him when he was in this, and we couldn't tell if he just preferred a larger shell, um, or if he really just had that as the only option, um, but so as soon as we offered, um, natural shells um we saw him move into the big or er, to a smaller shell which is great and it's also a turbo shell which are a lot healthier for wondering where he is he's literally sitting on a pear and eating it um so i'm just gonna let him be but so yeah he finally moved into a proper shell um, because even though we got most of the paint off of this, there is still some paint, and on the inside there's paint, and also this is a D opening, um, purple pinchers normally do better, are you okay? Yeah, you're fine, you're still on the pair. Um, do better in, uh, what are they called? Uh, O openings, which are the circle openings versus D shaped openings, um, and then things like Ecuadorians normally like, um, oval shaped or sometimes D openings, but so yeah. And just to give you um, an idea of how pale he was or she was when we got her, we honestly thought she was an Ecuadorian hermit crab. Um, and I don't actually have a video of that, but I have a video of the rescue hermit crab we got 
um, with her because we got two. Um, the one in the video sadly passed away um, a few days after I made the video, um, and that's un two unknown causes. This guy who came from the same home um, is still alive, and this is months later, so he should be fine. Um, and we're estimating this guy's anywhere from 5 to 15 years old, and of course you can't tell the size of a hermit crab, or the age of a hermit crab by their size, but when hermit crabs are first born, they are like, I mean, almost microscopic, almost impossible to see. They're the size, they're like a fourth size of a sprinkle. I mean, they are tiny, so who knows how old this guy is, but they can live 70 plus years, um, so we're expecting him to live a long time. Anyways, I'll put the video um, of um, who he was with, who we got with him with, um, who is named Solstice, um, just to give you an idea of how pale he was, and he was like double as pale as Solstice was, so we th honestly thought if anyone were to die or pass away, um, Midnight would be the one, not Solstice, but clearly Midnight proved us wrong, and so yeah, we still have him. I'm gonna go set this guy back because they do need humidity, but yeah, this is a Jade Turbo Shell. Um, and so purple pincher should be really dark in color, and this guy is not. Or, I'm sorry, not, is not, was not. Um, so I'll put the video of his friend that we got him with either here or there. Um, and yeah. So we're really excited, and he got to move into the big tank, and... If you um, don't know the size of the hermit crabs in there, we have some very large hermit crabs. I'm talking two and a half inch shell openings, so a hermit crab like that big, um, with a hermit crab who's like smaller than this, sitting in a tank with hermit crabs that big. Um, and the first day, we found the biggest hermit crab in the tank, um, Saturn, sitting right next to midnight and we actually separated them for that because I didn't know if they were fighting and they weren't showing signs of fighting but I really did not want to take a risk oh you're eating pear again um but so yeah we took him um and just uh, the midnight and just set him um slightly farther away so that if he was trapped he could get away um and we found them like that later on again and I just left at that time because I didn't see any aggressive behaviors that time either. And he ended up being best friends and now they're always together in the tank. No matter where, um, where Midnight is, Saturn's always there. No matter where Saturn is, Midnight's always there. Um, so it's super fun to see such a tiny crab interacting with such a large crab without any aggression. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.